All right, welcome back, guys. So we added uh, most of our sections here. So the next one is uh, the buttons, right? So uh, we are gonna, you know, clear everything out. Uh, this button is gonna take some time. So this button, we might use it in multiple places, right? So it may not be a good place to have it in the routes because it's not only related to you know particular page. It's related to everything, right? I mean, it can be used, like if you look at the form here, in the contact form, here also it is used. So you can have it here. I mean, it doesn't matter, but uh, Svelkit provides a folder called library, which is quite useful while importing because you don't have to use this dot dot uh, notation at all. So you can directly refer to library folder as dollar library. So. I'll just create a new file here. I'll call this button dot swell. So I'll create uh, something like this, and I will have a slot here. So which means uh, it's a place where things go in, right? So how we saw in layout, you probably already know what this does. In uh, if you have if you already have gone through Swelt. It does the same thing in Zwell Kit. Okay. Now let's go to the what section. And if we look at here in the home page, the what section we have call to action, right? Um so we are gonna have that here. So I go here, I'll see where it is and I'll try to add that button. So button and yeah, it is auto imported so i cannot have just the button i need something inside it otherwise it doesn't show up correctly so if i uh, okay will it exist okay so i have to use dollar so this is where it is useful dollar library button dot uh, it says cannot find it yeah so this is what happens so i have to have something inside it i'll do call to action something like this maybe yeah so we have the button but uh not quite uh, you know it doesn't look like that so let's let's do it in this button uh first thing is the background color right so the background color we already know it's war primary color so that that should take care of it and border we don't want any border none let's not have any and uh it's uh it has some padding at the top maybe uh, let me refer to the button itself oh, it's, it's just a class um oh, it has a border and also border color to primary and uh, there are a bunch of things here uh, I'm interested in padding point three seven five point seven five so that that's something we can do point three seven five point uh, five maybe it's rem I'm gonna use the m let's see did it I don't think it did much of a difference yet so I'm gonna use depends on the base uh, as well uh, I'm gonna use 1.5 on left and right now it is rounded so that is something so part of radius is there 0.25 m Okay, so it is rounded. I think that's quite okay. Color is white. And uh, font size seems to be different than what we see there. And this seems like the button. Now, they are using an icon here, which I'm not going to import. I'm just going to keep it this way. Uh, now there are a few more things we can do about buttons. So now usually button will have uh, multiple types. Like uh, you may have uh, primary, secondary, 
danger cancel so on and so forth with different colors uh, we can look into how we can do it one more thing which people forget is uh, uh, rest props so if you want something to be passed to i mean all the things that you send from the component to be passed here so we have to use rest props so this is very similar to uh, children dot uh, props dot children in react i think um, and when we use this so let's say you add something to the button so let's say you go to what section and to this you add a class equals uh, you know secondary now here uh, that will be put here so if we inspect uh, uh not this our button now uh, we have classical second so you can pass anything uh, that will be reflected there so let's say id equals a uh, button or something like this so that will also uh, be here okay so this is all uh, done with one single line here uh, rest props you may want to use this or sometimes uh, you may not because uh, sometimes you know you can uh, you may want to uh, use something else let's say mm, size let's say there is there is something called size we pass okay size equals there are uh, particular size let's say uh, you're passing small from here and in here you can receive i mean you can uh, make it accessible by doing export let small now here since uh, export let size sorry now if i console log this here the size it should be small and in console we should see small yeah so based on that uh, we can we can do something like uh, in the rest props you don't have it the since you already you know made it accessible in the component rest props will ignore that okay now based on that so class small if size equals small so you can do something like this i mean maybe not the best way of doing it We'll do by default. We'll do medium. Not required, but whenever you know the size is small, small class will be added. So what we do is uh, in small class, um, we also have to do medium when size equals medium, which is which is by default. So we'll do that class first the medium class and we'll move this padding to the medium class which is default okay now we copy the same thing but we change that to point two five or point five here so that way it is it appears small right the button is small now now if i go to the button wherever it is i remove this uh, size and it will start appearing the same so if i add medium it will start appearing the normal way so this is how you can pass few things from here and you can add classes based on that here so this is about buttons uh, this is probably you know already you probably already know this in uh, uh, in from Svelte, so I'm just I'm just uh, covering that again. Uh, main thing was rest props, where you want all the props to be added. Whatever prop is passed to the component, you can you can get it in that HTML element. Okay, so in the next one we'll fetch data. This is gonna be fun one. Subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.